Okay guys, filming myself, big old iguana over here. Sometimes I'm able to hold the phone with one hand and shoot with the other. The iguana's on the roof right there. We're gonna pretend we can't see him even though he's really big. And still up there. Need against this tree. Gotta step in the bushes. I can't step in the bushes, it's too thick. Well, that wasn't anticipated. Dang it, I need to step in the bushes. Stand in the bushes. What the hell am I standing on? Is this a rock? Dang, I'm up, up high. Here we go, guys. Let's see if I can stand right here. Dang, on top of the bushes. Yes, indeed. Pop this open, because I'm one-handed in here. He's ducking a little. Got you iguana, filming myself. <laughs> He's up there, we're gonna go get him down. Got you iguana. Got you iguana. Concrete's in the background. Than I thought it was. Nice. Sunk down in the water. It was just spinning around. I was afraid it was going to spin to where we couldn't get to it. It's dead though. Got you, iguana. Just started today. That's our first iguana of the day. Let's see how it goes. There's a third one. I gotta pull up though, cause the fence is in the background. You see the third one towards the back to the right? I'm just getting that tree in the background. There he is. You good? You see yeah. him? Yeah. He's probably at like 17 yards. Got you iguanas. One, two, three. Do, do, do. Oh, look at the one trying to go up the tree over there. See him on the branch? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go hand I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy. He's about 11, 12 yards away. There's a second one over there, though. We'll back up the truck, try to ride that way, see if we can't get over there without scaring him. We'll come back and pick him up. See it? Yeah. He's got some size on it. Wow. That's not the other one I sold or there's another iguana over here. It might have gone up a tree. It looks like there what could be several iguanas down here. 
further down. Probably about 50 yards, 60 yards down. Yeah. There's one to the left, eating. Also close to 20 yards. Oh, I'm on my barrel. I was wondering why that went over. Dang it. Rolled him over. On the run. Got you a guana about 22 yards. Oh, there's another one by the sign. See the alligator sign? No, no feeding the alligators? Mm-hmm. He's sitting right there like, what about me? Backed him up. You moonwalking. Got him. All right, got the iguanas. We're gonna go pick them up. Okay. Rolled him over, then we have a second iguana. I gotta go get a mag. Okay. The iguana ran all the way down to the tree. He just dove in. Got him. Got him. Holy cow. Got you, iguana. On the move. Got him. Got him. Holy cow. Got you, Iguana. On the move. Hey, over here. He was about to start walking. Did you see him? Yeah. He was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I walk. think they're looking at me. I wanted to share with you the plan. If you look across the water, there's iguanas all in the grass because those people feed the iguanas. And then there's one iguana on our side of the lake. So we're going to run up and shoot this one iguana, grab it. Jump back in the truck and drive around and go get the ones on the other side. We'll shoot the other ones from the truck when we get over there because we'll be able to pull up right in the grass. But right here, we can't get over there, so we're going to jump out the truck and shoot. Are you here in the grass, like on the tree? Maybe like 23 yards? Probably about a 23 yard shot. Dropped in. Look who's already looking. So she's looking at getting him across the water. There's one iguana here to the left, and there's actually a small one over here to the right, but we can't take the shots that way because those people are over there scaring the ducks. curled in to show you how they take the shots it's laying down yeah slowly. he just laid down if you can look in the scope double tapping i think he's out okay yeah he's out he barely moved great right here. here's the one we were planning on grabbing the other iguana was supposed to be a bonus iguana Okay, so this one, the other one shot right here. Got you both. Got somewhere, huh? Yeah. I can still see him. Like he was late.
So he ran right here in this bush. Pull up right here. I'm gonna see if he crossed or if he's still in the bush area. He's gotta be right here somewhere. You don't know the side. Do you see him? Yeah. Got you, Iguana. Look at the claw. Freaking raptor. Oh. Got you, Iguana. No escaping. Great job. Just trying to shake it off. You ain't shaking that one off. Okay, just a little low because uh, we're so close. He is really close. That was like six yards just now. So it looks like we have three more targets up ahead. That's not that giant orange boy. He's not over here. Nice. We gotta look around. That big boy's gotta be right here. I bet he just went up this tree. Uh, let's hope we don't alert the guard dog. Right. Let me grab these two. Of There's a lady out there. I see her with a big Pulling up on a monster boy down here. Most of the giants here have been taken in the past year or two with us working. But clearly this boy has survived. He's got another one go running over my head of him right here. Too. Right here on the left, right? I right. see the green one. Let me get it real quick. I hope I'm not double loaded here. I just loaded a shot. Yeah, he's just about to run. You saw him bobbing his head? Got him. There's another iguana behind our big orange boy after we get his shot. I'm pulling this way so I can cut the wheel. Like this. I'm going to try to hit him right around the eye. Ooh, I went right over him. They are tanks. Look right here, look right here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to up and he's right around this way. Put some on his mind. Nice catch. Turn him around. There's nice a giant catch. orange one all the way around the bend if we can get over there. And another really good size one in front of him. I'm comfortable jumping out right here and grabbing these though. I don't think it's going to scare anybody. Cool. Watch the people at the pool. Look. Okay guys, we have two giant iguanas over here. Considering that we've gotten a lot of the giants here, it's really important to us that we pull these two out of here.
One of them is going to be just on the other side of the building. Tagged him. His buddy is way behind him at the tree line. I'm out of pellets. And of course, this tree is tied up with shots. We have a viewer on the front. So, this is we going for. Good job, place. All the way down. These are a lot lower. Than that. Look at it. Test that blood vessel. Okay, guys, we've been out here like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and we've gotten um, 22 iguanas. One of them is missing. The, one of the largest ones is missing because somebody came out and said they wanted to eat it. So we, of course, gave it to them right away so they could get it on ice. And so um, we've been able to pull a great majority of adults out here. If you've ever seen this property in our older videos, um, you can see that we normally have iguanas still across the lake and around whenever we're done because iguanas were so prevalent. But now the lake shores are pretty um, free of iguanas, especially large ones. So we definitely have made a difference out here. We've taken well over a thousand iguanas in the past three years here. And um, this puts us around 140 iguanas in the past two days around here. And the sizes are going down. The number of females are going down and the iguanas are going down. So got you iguana, thanks for joining us again. Thank <laughs> you.